Okay. Let's see if we can get this going. Yep, yep, yep. Do not know if my mic is working. But we will see. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Okay. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. Why is it no, gotta be no, weird? No, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Doctor? Why is there never enough time? For what? So, welcome to Soma. <laughs> that was the opening. Oh. Oh. Christ. Oh, you giggle nervous when you get scared out of a dream, too? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Alright. <clears throat> it's a very pretty game. Um, because I'm... Well, I'm recording with the Xbox beta... Whatever it's doing. I'm recording with that because uh, it seems that actually likes to be used more than Steam Labs OBS where did trying I put to record. The tracer fluid? I know where I put it. It's somewhere random. I wanna look at your crap. I mean this just looking in here is more just like you get to see who Simon Jared possibly was. Okay, that's Namers banging around. Cool. But it beginning of the game on, radioactive tracer fluid where are you oh he likes horror books nice okay, Dana we don't need to read about what this not real book is talking about <laughs> let's see he's got Ooh. hey Simon it's Jesse you working this weekend or what I knew there was something you were doing was it this weekend or next anywho just shoot me a mail or something Love you, Miss You Mean It. <laughs> oh. messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? So, our character, Simon Jared, has dealt with it. You know what? I'm just gonna find the. Let's see, is it in here? Yeah. So, downtown accident kills young woman. I'm guessing that was the chick in his car. Yep. So, April 10th, 2015, so this was about mm, four years ago. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children traveling in a robust SUV were left bruised but largely unharmed, as the other party, uh, the other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damage and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jared, 26, survived, but with a complicated result, believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by, by police, claims it was an accident and practically unavoidable. Um, no. When you're driving in the car with your kids and they're being annoying to the point where you need to turn around and yell at them, pull over. Just pull over and yell at them. Get out of the street and pull the hell over. And guess what? Ashley wouldn't have died and Simon here wouldn't have to be going and getting a brain scan because you're stupid. Oh, I hate drivers. Like, I know this isn't oh, real. I forgot to hit send. But when there's... When a driver is easily distracted by something and causes a horrendous wreck, you don't need to be distracted by something when you're behind never. a wheel in a death machine. 
It's so easy not to do that. Summer's coming. Hope I have 10 one. years experience driving, and not a single once have I been into an accident, tapped a car, fucking got distracted by something. Nope. I'm behind that metal death machine, and I did, don't trust anybody else outside the car, and I pay attention. Anyways, uh, the, the, the pet peeve ran over. Now we're trying to find this trace of fluid. Got a nice apartment, though. I like this. It's a studio apartment, but that's perfect for me. I would love this size apartment. Oh, man. It seemed because of his brain thing. Right. Watching TV gives me headaches now. Thank you, brain. Yep. So we can't watch any movies because brain hurt. Nothing in there. Oh, there it is. Oh, hi. Drinky, drinky. I wanted to see if it would let me pick up my keys, but no. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Yeah, tracer fluids, a uh, metallic -y taste. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we drank some tracer fluid. Remind Jesse, pick up meds. Flowers for funeral. Oh, that's sucky. Right, because I. Fast food. So I need something healthier on my way home. Right, the funeral's for Ashley. Shit. So yeah, that's the intro. It's a very pretty game. I love it. Now we're headed to our brain scan. Uh-oh. Need my coffee. Answer. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. I get it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. So yeah, the funeral is definitely Ashley's. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. <coughs> Jesse's we'll like me. me. I can't. I don't like if certain situations happen. I'll do my best to try to alleviate whatever's bothering you. But it's gonna be a smidge awkward because I suck at social interactions. <laughs> But at least his friend is trying to be somewhat supportive of the whole brain damage, bleeding constantly kind of thing. Because from what I've heard and seen, his brain is like kind of constantly bleeding. I guess he's got to go in and get it drained and every once in a while until he can't. Right. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Now I will say this. I have everyone? watched Mark oh, and his friend busy. Wade play the fuck out of this game. Oh, uh, I want to say three or three years ago. So, and I only watched him play it because three years ago I didn't think I'd be able to play this game at all. So, <clears throat> because of the rig the computers I've had in the past, they run just well enough to run the games I like, but not the games I really want to play, which are good. Right. Let's just call Munchie real quick. Munchie. Great. Got his phone turned off. Of course. It's okay. I can figure this out. Can you with your hurt brain? Alright, scan now. We've got a few hours. Got a hold of it. Simon Jared, sorry, I'm burping. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me Asa. Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said that we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. 
would allow us to use the computers to run models and if a time slot opens up we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan for each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. Okay, he's talking about me. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code chain, so I called security, talked to Professor Wee. Me? Uh-huh. To have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some poncho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. Not allowed to repeat the code in mails or text, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. Oh. Alright, so there's a note in a notebook somewhere. Or, uh, pins in a notebook somewhere. Alright, so if it's a little laggy again, I am sorry. Scanning, brain stuff. Put your scalp away, the brain can heal itself. Brain has an amazing transform quality of plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself. Okay, so that's what the brain scans are for. They're banking on the brain to heal itself. Like, of course, the scan is supposed to help you give out meds to deter how to fix whatever the problem is, or to help any surgeries that may happen to fix or remove said problem in the brain. Um, da, 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 da. Two five zero one. I'm guessing since it's not letting me flip through anything else. I think that was it. And you know what? If I recall correctly, it's the same code Mark and Wade used. Yep. So the code does not change when you play new games. All right. Oh, space. Ooh, space. Uh, it means absolutely nothing. All right. Okay, can't get in there. Oh, that's great. Nope, can't get in there either. All right. Can I get in here? No, nah, that'd be a no. Hello, doctor. Hello, Mr. Mo doctor Munchie. Munchie, Munchie, Munchie. Are you in here? No. Okay. What is this? Uh, I'm gonna just assume orange juice, even though the bottle is clear and these bitches are empty. Let's see, hiya! Ah, I can throw. Since I can't interact with anything else, fuck it. All right, moving on. <clears throat> You'll notice I like the fadoodle. And close the door. Three, six, four. Oh. Doctor Ranji. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Yes. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, <laughs> but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Bird. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Brain reconstruction? Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Nope. Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. All right, well, fuck it, all right, let's get in the chair. This isn't gonna be spoopy or scary at all, it's just a brain scan. What could possibly go wrong? Um, if you hear a little sound like shh, that would be my vape, and I'm sorry. I haven't had a right. cigarette in over a month, out of the way. and my vape juice you has like Jarrett, 0 0.03% right. of nicotine, Canada, Munchie, which is a lot less than what I used to Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's uh, so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Nope. Say cheese. Move. 
Look out. Now, I'm sure brain scans are not supposed to make the worldly sound and you black out. It is going to take a minute to load. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, shit. What happened? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still fighting a cold. Hello? By the way. Mr. Munchie? Dr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? Oh, you know what? He hasn't gotten his PhD yet, so it is Mr. Munchie. Alright, yes? This isn't funny. I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. What the fuck? This is not where we belong. This is kind of stressing me out. Oh! Yo. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? That's a damn good question. Because, I mean, we saw our hands, skins, and hands, and feet. Like, it worked still silent. Omni tool, chip installer. Alright. Which means I probably cannot get out. Alright, so. Are you open? Yeah! No? Yeah! Right. How do I jump? Wow. <laughs> Hi, I don't want to be here. That really seems spoopy. Wait, this reminds me of Alien Isolation. Which I plan on doing on my channel eventually, now that I have a roommate that has an Xbox One. I'm either going to stream it or record it. I'm not sure yet. But... Things are going to start changing. Since I need a new intro and outro, a lot has changed in the past. It's been a month since I've uploaded anything. And it's because me and my ex have split. I haven't been happy in that relationship for a while now. And I'm talking a few years. Um, long story short, I am no longer with him. I'm single and on my own. And I cannot use his music, so I need to find... I need to reach out to somebody for an intro and an outro that I'd prefer to be mine. <sighs> So that's why I haven't been here. I haven't uploaded in a month. It's just I've gone I'm going through a lot. Oh something spooky was going on. Uh okay. Anyways. But yeah. I've been working forty hours a week at my job, unloading trucks, sorting all that arrow. And the way they have my days off set up, it's not very rewarding at all. I don't feel like I'm rested ever. Oh, why are we making noises? Can we close this door for safety? No. What is that? I think he's the only one I can interact with, yeah. Ah. It looked like it was trying. Ah! ah! Damn you! I didn't know you twitchy twitched. Mark stayed away from that one. Huh? Let's just pick you up. Can't actually interact with you. Who are you? Okay. Ah! Fuck off! I have both my headset, the headphones in. <laughs> hey you, can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. 
doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? What the fuck? I didn't know it was gonna be that. Um. Oh, I don't wanna be here. Oh. Okay, that's the. Okay, I was hitting the wrong buttons. Okay. Oh, oh. Alright. I guess we're going this way. As much as I don't want to. Looks, what is all this fucking goo? I mean, it's been a minute since I've seen any gameplay, so I kind of forgot, like, what the hell is going on here. I just know the world's ended. <sighs> okay. No, 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 no. I feel about this game. Uh, getting full sound changes. I mean, what am I doing? Okay, let me. I'm in panic mode. My brain just went mm, scrambled. Now we're eggs. <laughs> okay. I assume I'm gonna stay away from the spark. That looks quite dangerous. Ooh. My computer does not like electricity, apparently. What's this? Is this a way out? I bet we're gonna need that Omni tool thing. Oh, uh, look, swipe Omni tool. All right. Bet it's where that fucker is. Oh, I don't wanna. Huh? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Sparky spark. No. Woo! See, no. Don't look at the electricity. You're just gonna run and sprint and run and sprint and run and sprint and run and sprint. Okay, you, you done being mad? Can I come in? You're not gonna be in here and immediately strangle my life away, are you? What the fuck? Ugh, it's just goop everywhere. Oh, that's a dead body. Okay. Alright, intense music, you can, like, not be so intense. Omni tool, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Okay. Hi, Masu. Okay. Right, let's go back to where we were. Safely. No, nothing's gonna fuck with me. We're in a pleasant place. I like living. <laughs> is this life? What is? What is, even is life? <laughs> Get 
job. Can we not? I gotta go over there. Wait, did I hit this black box? Working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. I can't walk Call Promise Hill as many as you can, rather than take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock out the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. So... Whatever is going on before we got here, they were trying to evacuate this spot, this area, or this station. Alright. Service console upsilon 3, including pilot seat activated. Uh, blah, 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 initiate. Wow. Okay. Oop, nope. That, that wasn't. Three progress, five, six, five, fifty six scan, SJ, Simon Jarrett, terminal scan, David Munchie, Toronto. Oh shit, it's 2104. We did this brain scan in 2015. Alright. Man, it's tool chip. Welcome back. Blah blah blah. You're on the room and then not fitted with the tool chip. Not the tool chip available, including the contacts. using it. Uh, please insert tool chip and run an update. Okay. Yep. We'll unlock that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yoink it. And uh, yoink it. Tool chip. Cortex tool. So it's not. Cortex chip. It's a tool chip. Update. So this should be enough to get us out of here. Hopefully. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Yeah, alright. Nice. Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna leave this episode here. Hopefully it's a good run. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys stick around. I'll try to upload a little bit more. It's not going to be as often as it used to be, but I will begin to upload on my days off and before I head to work. I will try to get at least three to four videos out a week. I'm going to try to get a normal routine going. It's more the holidays are here and working at uh, my job, we get, we've been getting two to three trucks every single day since Thanksgiving. And it's not going to stop until the new year. So, that being said, I'm going to at least try to get two to three out. And then when the new year starts, about four to five out a week. And try to work out a schedule. I'm going to try to work with my job and see if they can't cut my hours after the holidays. And Because I would like to throw my focus back on making videos. Not specifically for YouTube, but for YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch, and anywhere else that'll accept my videos, because <laughs> uh, YouTube, we're not even going to start on that anyway. So with that being said, thank again, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye!